In this video, we're going to be talking all about bats. Okay, this video is about bats. Now, I want to show you a few bat options. Um, you can, there's all sorts of bats that you can buy or make. So this is like a standard, I think, I forget what this is called, my decks. The bats that you buy at the clay supply store will run anywhere from like six or seven dollars to 30 or 40 dollars, depending on size and material and all that stuff. And so I have a few, maybe, maybe six or seven that I've bought like this or that friends have given me. And how they work is these bat pins are 10 inches off and you usually buy it, uh, usually uh, on big wheels. They're about, they're 10 inches, not about, they are 10 inches offset from one another. And those little holes in the bats just clip right on there. Or some bats, like this one right here, they have these little uh, nubs right there that tell you where the, the holes are. And then you can, they actually have a little lip. I don't know if you can see that lip right there that helps you to pry it up off the off the wheel head once you get done. So it's stuck on there, and then you just pull it on off. And then you don't have to touch your work at all when you're getting it off the bat, when you're getting it off the wheel head. That's the main value of a bat, in my experience, is you don't have to touch it to get it off. Now, what I like to do is throw a small, what I like to call, or what is called a patty, and what is a patty? Oh, here's a, a rib I found. So a patty is just a little flat pancake of clay that you put some concentric circles in. And what it does is when you put it on there, so this is, I'm actually throwing with a bat on a bat. You could just make a patty right on the uh, wheel head, but I like to, Sometimes I like to be thrown off the hump. Sometimes I like to throw in the wheelhead. Sometimes I like to throw off a patty. When I'm throwing with bats, what I use is either I started off using these wooden uh, wooden bats. Uh, I just got a big 4x8 sheet of plywood and cut it up into 6-inch squares and then sanded it down a little bit. But my problem is sometimes they would warp. You see that? And that's not fun. That's not really good. So then I started using these. These are ceramic tiles that you can get at Lowe's or Home Depot, and uh, and they just you just set them on there. When this gets wet, this is a little bit dry, but I think it'll still work. You just set it on there like that. I like it a little wetter than that. I would work this a little bit, but then you stick your clay on there. So then you just stick your clay on here and you throw on that bat right there. Oop. That's what happens when the clay's not wet enough and it doesn't stick. This is really dry. I'm just going to throw one here. Okay, so let me show you how to throw a patty. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is just get your clay centered on there. You actually don't even have to have it centered. <laughs> okay, and then you just flatten it out real wide. Yeah, that's bigger than we need it, but I like to get it good and flat here. And then I'm going to just trim the edges here. And then you just want to put some concentric circles in here. Now this is kind of a neat one. You don't need to have it this neat. So these concentric circles are to give it some grip when you put it on there. So here, let me put one on. This one's got some gunk on it. Let me see if I can just scrape that gunk off real quick. And 
and then I'll just grab a little hunk of clay. So this is one way that I, uh, one reason I often use a clay patty is to get a good foot. So here's one of the tricks that I like to use a lot. This is just a credit card that I cut a little foot out of. And then, yeah, that's about it. Any old rib can dig this off of there. And then that's how you do it. It comes off right like that. And I can just take a wire tool and I'll go underneath here whoosh, like that. Clean up and that'll be a fun little mug. Hey guys, if you liked what you saw, hit that subscribe button and be the first one to know when we release new videos or when we have a new batch coming out of the kiln. If you want to see the gear or the materials we used, check out the link in the descriptions. And lastly, if you have questions or thoughts, leave me a comment in the comments below. I'm here to help. See you next time.